We've been waiting a long time for you, traveler. The ancient, fabulous fear machine called you. Use it and everything you've ever dreamt of will be within your reach. What are, you, are your deepest desires? Our wealth? Glory? The machine and its agents will aid you. In return, we ask for the merest token. Your story will become a part of the machine. Forever. Are you willing to pay this price? Insert your coin. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is um, designed uh, to look like uh, one of those um, Pulp Fiction magazines from before my time. It's cheap. Emotion mystery. Just double checking, updated the title. Very good. Double blind. The tutorial. Before you sit down at the controls of the fear machine, we're going to spend some time in the test area. The test area is designed for learning the most basic actions and for understanding how the missions and the map work. In your task, Agent Dummy will accompany you. Great. Like you, he's new. Agent Dummy at your orders. He looks like a crash test dummy, all right? The map of our test area shows the two fictitious regions, Rumoria and the Republic of Hoaxia. Hoaxia, Hoaxia, Hoaxia. Um, our three practice scenarios take place in them. Let's move on. The main function of the machine is to generate fear, to prepare the population to accept your messages. In this first scenario, your objective will be to transmit your message in Rumoria. Zero fear. But for the population to accept your message, it must first have sufficient fear. Mm-hmm. The fear experienced by Regent's population is determined by its four psychic centers. The power, the form, the passions, and the occult. And you can increase the power of these centers by intensifying the terrors that feed them. Different... Uh, Aspects of each. Every fear needs a seed. Drag your fear seed and plant it in the region. To take root, the seed needs certain conditions, so you will only be able to plant it in specific locations on the map. Now, use legends to intensify the terrors of each psychic center to increase the total amount of fear in the region. Yes. Click the terror buttons to see the avail available legends that affect each of them. Then drag the legend that you want to create to the free slot in the city. We have one slot. The terror of the unknown and the terror of the irrational. That's the occult. Then we have the passions with violence and death. The form with the decrepitude and pain and the power with conspiracy and future. I'm going to go for the occult because I think it fits the theme very well. And the uh, cosmic horrors, right? Rain of frogs. <laughs> okay. Um, click the terrace button to see the legends and then uh, it will increase plus five and plus ten. Which is actually not what I expected, but that's all right. And it costs 200 oleum. It's a resource we have here. Oleum. Politics, Gaia, Blood, Visions, Destiny, Pop, Science, and Root are also resources, I think. So, we let it rain frogs in Rumoria. Today's weather report predicts morning sunshine and frogs. <laughs> Broadville. can send agents there the current uh, legend 
main square and old tavern are places there. One of them is not explored yet, and the other one has an action slot. Many actions such as developing your legends use up time. Controlling time is going to be essential. Press the spacebar once to pause or resume time. Hold it down to speed up things. It's building up a uh, level. It's an evolution button. And our fear meter goes up. Placing it increased it by these values. And now we are... Evolve the legend. As you evolve your legends, the fear they generate in their region will grow. To evolve your legend through all its levels, you will need a specific amount of the essence that corresponds to it. Um, with your agent, you can extract any essences you need from a city. We need visions. And our agent is in the bottom right here, and we can drag him to the city. I reached the center of Fraudville and await your orders. To kill time, I filled my pockets with breadcrumbs. Um, sure, Agent Dummy, that was a good idea. But I quickly realized my error. What do these cardboard pigeons eat? I'm going to find out. Okay, <laughs> Agent Dummy extracts three essences in 23 days. It takes 18 days to explore things. And infiltration also takes that long. Implant essences. The corresponding color is implanted and our agent will extract three over 23 days. Hell of a long time. But yeah, you can see that the ticking here it corresponds to the day counter up there. Oh, that's a cool effect. Ding. They're done. Now we've got three essences and now we can go for our legend and evolve it. If you assign a concept that fits in well with the nature of the legend, you'll get an extra boost of the terrace in the evolution. Okay, we're raining frogs. It's a plague. Or it's a sign. It's a sign. Uh, did I get a bonus? I don't know. Currently cloudy skies in the afternoon. Miracle or natural phenomenon? The appearance of thousands of frogs confound local authorities. forward right so we involve it again it has two more evolutions that is. clicking on the legend automatically pauses the game now you've got it. Fear in the region is high enough for the population to be receptive to your message. Now click the button to transmit it. So far so good. This time you have to transmit two messages, one in each region. Hover the cursor over the messages to see their requirements. Ah. Okay. It's, that's not the message though. If a tutorial takes too much out of your hand, you end up not knowing where to look for things. Use an agent to explore a new site in rumorous cities. I go back to Fraudville's main square, this time with a handful of fake breadcrumbs made of crumpled paper. And I sit down on the bench to wait for the cardboard pigeons to devour them this time. My plan is foolproof. <laughs> Let's explore. They only affect the region they are in. Yes, makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
We have another legend here, Express Kidnapping. Oh, I scroll the map. We don't have another agent. Um, this is a power and passion mix. In Farsberg. What a traffic jam I'm in. Sorry, I'm going to be late. Lock the door and don't roll down the window. Haven't you heard about these kidnappers? Oh, it would be so nice if we could now type a message to... <gasps> they told his family that they had to receive an electronic transfer within 10 minutes or they cut off an ear. At the request of the Automobile Association, the police create a special unit to investigate crimes against drivers. So you can hear about the... Uh, Rumors and reactions. That was the thing in the paper we saw. It's nothing new. The most ancient chronicles speak of rains of blood, of worms, of bats. We ask folklore and history experts. <laughs> in the internet, scientists says that there's an explanation, but they have no idea what it is. I've seen them fall with my own eyes. Sign of the apocalypse, no question about it. Ah, see, they are picking up on the sign message. The fake bartender. In a corner of the bar, among prop bottles and paper mache glass, where the plastic mannequin that serves as the fake bartender smiles at me wordlessly. Yeah, this is not going to be fun forever. I hope that's not going to be the standard in the game. Order a drink. I motion to the bartender and point to some bottles on the other side of the bar. Then I pantomime drinking from an imaginary glass several times, and as one would expect, the plastic mannequin ignores all my entreaties. How I long to finish my training, yes. We can place a new legend. We have a uh, form. Post coitum surprise or oh that's it. <laughs> Let's put that in here. A chat message, a coffee, and a romantic dinner. What? <laughs> sure. Now in Rumoria they already the message has spread. Good job. Now that your fear bar, fear blob, has reached the border of the Republic of Hoaxia, it will be able to expand into it. Oh. Each time you create a legend, you burn your oleum, and to generate more, you need pumps. You will only be able to do this in cities located inside the fear blob. Um, as far as tutorials go, this is pretty horrible. But we're gonna suffer through it. Because the amount of detailed information we get is most probably not gonna be represented by the user interface in the game. Anyway. The city is now white. Didn't they put an indicator on it? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't get why I can't move the map or zoom out. That's a bit odd. Um, now we're exploring a new city. The uh, influence of the um, here here is going over to the next one. So I wonder how their different um, rumors are gonna interact. Uh, legends. Legends? Uh, a flag.
flame burns. Over time, the machine's flame gets hotter and grows in size. The larger the flame, the more oleum it will consume. Yes. That's a timer. Essentially, that's a timer. The Great Lake of Phipps City represents a tranquil, placid, and silent landscape. I am already tired of reading that. Um, now we need an active legend there. The climate machine? Crazy weather, it's even raining frogs. Hmm. I think I understand how the basics work, but I'm not sure if it uh if that's gonna constitute an interesting game. Meteorology. Uh, I think green is when you pick the right corresponding thing. When I was little, it rained when it was time to rain and snowed when it was time to snow. What's happening now is normal. There is someone behind all this. <laughs> and trails! <laughs> yeah, okay. Why is it doing that? I like the frog thing. See if I'm doing this right. Arrival has come on the scene. Okay, they have their own influence. I can infiltrate a rival city. My agent is extracting things. First. Meanwhile, well, last time I picked the sign for the frogs, that didn't really work. It's medicinal, medical frogs. Surprise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I 
rain of cloud a uh, rain of frogs intensifies okay now we're investigating uh, infiltrating the enemy we are doing okay over there and put the climate machine next to it i think that that works well totally uh totally uh unique um is what i thought of the graphics and of the concept but i'm not really sure yet it's probably too early to tell f uh, in one hour for a complex game like this but <sighs> i'm not sure if there's enough going on for me to play this i don't know now we would need uh the other uh, resource extracted here and for that we need to uh, explore further and extract the uh, corresponding resource here otherwise we can't ev uh, um, evolve the climate machine miss big shot she's a mannequin obviously to transmit its own message in the region get rid of us it's initiative points three if the rifle loses these from here you can also send your agent to on incursions to obtain incriminating information in some missions you'll be able to use more than one agent so paying attention to the attributes that incursions require will help um incursion started Okay, our rival is sitting over here and that's their message, right? No, that's our influence going over there. They act through movements and use initiative points to create those movements. When their credits bar fill up, they place one of these movements on the map and extend their area of influence. To get rid of your rival, use any information you find in your incursions to weaken and neutralize its movements until they finally run out of initiative points. 200 is their credit bar. Extra, extra, Faith Rage Limited kicks off its campaign to win over citizens. I slip into the building's lobby, which is monitored by several cardboard security cameras. <laughs> I see two places that seem interesting. The director's office and the trash room. Trash room. Super secret documents. There's three damage. That would finish them off. It costs 100 oleum, which we have. Each information requires different resources to make them usable. You have to know the city where it's acting, so you need to explore first. Which costs 200. Reminds you of Cultist Simulator. I never tried that either. That's a good question. Is that a good game? Oh, we can evolve the froggos. Not a good fit. They are medicinal frogs, I'm sure of it. It's nothing new. The most ancient chronicles are oh, right. That's what they wanted me to do. Emre, welcome. Yeah, it's a very strange game, but I think it's also uh, the end is really straightforward, but the presentation is kind of cool. Presentation is kind of cool. How are you doing, Emre? Welcome in. I need some water. Works in obscure ways. Okay.
Whoops. You finished off your rival. Now you can transmit. Uh, first, we need to place a legend. Extract the uh, necessary resource. Meanwhile, the fear of frogs is uh, evolving. Yeah, okay, and now we can move our agent here to explore, I thought. Let's see if we move him. Yeah, explore. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> The theme is sex. <laughs> okay, and these, the evolution steps of the legends, they tell a little story of their own, which is, which is cute. Now we're spreading rumors about dating apps. Okay, so we finished the tutorial that took like half an hour. Long. You played it a bunch, cool. I mean, the presentation of this game is like super cool and really, really well thought out, right? I can't really say enough about the gameplay. The fear machine. Hello, Jen. I'm happy to see that you finally made it. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Did you have a hard time finding her? Let's just say that you didn't make it easy for me. The fact that the final clue was in the today's times struck me as a cliche, but albeit a charming one. I have to confess that it was my idea. I wanted to give you such a genuinely British touch. I can see that. <laughs> Good thing it didn't occur to you to hide the coordinates in a cone of fish and chips. In any case, I'm here now, so let's get started without delay. Direct and to the point, I expect no less from a superior scientific mind like yours, but first I need to double check something. You're aware of the conditions of the agreement, right? Yes, your message was very clear in that sense. And you're willing to go forward anyway? Do you think I would leave the lab in the middle of the worst storm in, in a decade if I wasn't? Let's get started. All right, make a wish. May it be so, your destiny and that of the machine are now connected. Listen to me carefully, Jen Hammond. From this moment on, you will be the mistress of machines. Make good use of your time and the power I have given you to do your will. Make fear and your ambition rule the world. Muhahaha. <laughs> okay. Double blind. A thrilling story full of ambition, diseases and pill bottles. So shocking that you won't take your eyes off it. Ah, ooh. Oh no. Once upon a time, an ambitious young researcher who had spent her childhood in an environment of formaldehyde, solitude, and white lab coats. <laughs> Mission 1. No one is watching. How the sad and lonely Jen Hammond became the most powerful scientist in the British Isles overnight. Objective. Expand the influence of Fandro Farm. Mm -hmm. and climb the ladder to become the CEO of the region's most important pharmaceutical company. Only Fandro drugs guarantee good health. Generic drugs should be outlawed. All natural remedies are dangerous. <laughs> okay, those are the three messages we can spread. The requirements are 65 fear, 75 fear, 75 fear, and 65 on the uh, debilitating or something. Okay. Um, 
I think I'll take Rene. Because extracting resources is good to evol uh, evolve the legends to accumulate the, this here. Like mom and dad. <laughs> oh, this is quite great. Thanks to your talent, Jen. You've just been hired as Fedro, Fedro Farm's youngest researcher. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for someone as intelligent and ambitious as you. How far are you willing to go? Just try me. Oh, you missed the start of this. You might you might need to check the video. Uh, this is potentially really good. The tutorial took like half an hour because it was actually a tiny bit complex. Um, in the end, the straightforward gameplay, but it, you know, it took a bit. This is a funky thing indeed, yeah. Expand the influence of Phaedra Farm and make it the dominant pharmaceutical company in the British Isles. Okay. While simultaneously seizing control of the company. Not bad, eh? Transmit your message in three regions. Okay. So. The British Isles. Messages to be transmitted are three. Drag each one to the region where you want to transmit it to place it there. But don't worry, you'll be able to move them to another region whenever you want before transmitting them. All right. So England and Wales, Scotland and Ireland, and you still can't drag the map. Uh, so let's see. E all natural remedies are dangerous. We're going to spread that rumor in uh, England and Wales. Um, generic drugs should be outlawed in Scotland. And uh, only favorite drugs guarantee good health in Ireland. Right. So now we place our seed of fear. Um, well, let's see. Sixty-five. This is the toughest one. Let, let's start in Ireland with the toughest. Uh... No, let's start in England and Wales. Yeah. <laughs> the seed of fear has been planted. Right now, we have Manchester, and oh, sadly we can't move the agent. Directly there. I see a commemorative plaque next to one of the canals that crosses the Castlefield neighborhood. Manchester, cradle of the Industrial Revolution. Two centuries ago, it took thousands of machines to completely change the face of the world, and now we will be able to do the same thing with a single machine, mistress. Okay. So, um, it would probably be beneficial to start spreading. Uh, let's pause. Um, the form over here as well because we need the terror of decrepitude here in Ireland and this influence as soon as it reaches this this border it will go over to the other one so I'll take the same resource and uh, oh we've got a thousand oleum at the beginning okay Contaminated wells. That's the legend that we are fabricating. First, you notice a strange odor of bleach. <gasps> oh, we need the Gaia resource. So we go to Manchester and uh, build a Gaia extractor. Oh, this is new. Ah, oh, you can instantly start with uh, more than one cycle of extraction. Let's get one cycle of extraction done. And while that happens, we can check out... Uh... Hiring search at Pedro, Pedro Farm. At some point, the future of the company will be in the hands of this new blood, says its veteran CEO, Andrew Lockham. Okay. Oh, there's a second city down here. Probably London. 
Straightforward. You've received a reward for increasing your mastery. Okay, that was not in the tutorial. The total amount of fear you're creating on the map is the mastery. Okay. When you activate one, click on its icon to collect it. Another agent. Ooh, nice. Um. Yeah, you could look at it like that. You could look at it like that. It's um. It's very similar, and at the same time, somehow it's not. Um, I think you have a few more interaction spots here. Like uh, in Plague Inc, you pick your strategy and then you evolve the virus slash whatever your fungus or bacteria. Um, But it's very similar. Now the gameplay is is what the Abika is talking about, obviously. Um, I think this has a, a, a bit more depth to it. Not a huge amount, but a bit more. I find it a bit more entertaining than Plague Inc as well. <laughs> Get an agent. So, we can only put one agent per, oh, let's explore here already, per city. So, we extracted the, the uh, Gaia resource, um, now we can explore down here. And now we can evolve the Contaminated Wells legend in a minute. Right. Um, it's there's an odor of bleach, and the wells are contaminated, so it would make sense to tell them about the chemical pollution. Yeah, that was a good a good pick. Get a bonus point. And then you see something very unusual about its color. <gasps> Wastewater being discharged to local river. B B Undersmith. This looks. This place looks very familiar. Where are those images from? <gasps> Is it my home? Right. The, the the agents are busy, so we can fast forward a bit. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. A certain Oscar Wilde supposedly wrote in this city. Do you think he was talking about us? There's no doubt in my mind Ireland is going to fit into our plans perfectly. Dublin. Um, in Dublin, we can explore a few more places, but uh, hmm. let's first pick a legend. Send the other agent here to explore the second spot. And uh, in in Ireland, we need the uh, the form, the sandbox virus. Nice. We could spread that legend. It's the highest value we have for our for our goal. To spread the message. And it's what we need to evolve it further. It all starts with an innocent sneeze. <gasps> uh oh. When I reach the square, Lord Nelson gazes down at me with impotence and fear from atop his column. He knows it too. We will conquer London. Uh, Trafalgar Square. We could extract the power resource. An event has appeared. 
Over time, events like this one will appear in different regions on the map to learn their effects and act on them, investigate them with an agent. Well, now they are busy. Children's exercise campaign. The local government wants to cut healthcare spending by encouraging kids to play sports. What? We have to take action quick. Oh yeah, the oleum pump. Right, I forgot about that. Multinationals of fear. <laughs> Follow the commandments, or else Lucifer will torture your body and soul for all eternity. <laughs> the parishioners line up to deposit their donations in the offering box. That's what I call using fear. These people are ahead of us by thousands of years, mistress. Uh, the unknown? Oh, they both have that effect. Oh, okay. Um, Oleum extractor. Refinery. Oh, if you have spare resources. All right. I see. And we have a spare agent. Infiltrate. We've got enough time. We've got two power. Power, politics, resources. And we can now take a legend. Yeah. A fuel can. Um We can't afford the four hundred, so we'll we'll have to wait a bit. We can explore up there for two hundred, okay. For a cycle we get 100, which is not too much. Can I build one here as well? Well, I could uh, explore. Nightmare fuel, indeed. Publish the following article. Ten soccer players who died on the field. <laughs> oh, this is such an evil game. Um, can I react to that later? Yes. I don't have a bit of time because um, I want to... Mr. Nest. Um, I wanted to extract some more the dark place doubles the evolution speed of the occult legends um, I wanted to extract more Gaia oh a rival just like my seven ravens I can't fly beyond the Tower of London either the future of the kingdom and of the crown depends on it says Mr. Nest Tell us a sinister story about the world outside and my creatures and I will be very grateful to you. 189 turns left to interact with them. Your agents acquire experience by carrying out actions. When the experience bar is full, they will reveal fragments of their past. Oh, now we can select this, don't we? Can we? Yes. Neutralized and we gain plus five decrepitude, which we needed. Right now we're gonna move our agent back here. And build another extractor. And then we wait until we can afford a legend. Oh, reward. Plus twenty to the values of a form of legend. Of a form legend. Alright. That's great. That's great. We're going to use that in Ireland to win. Uh, meanwhile, we need to pick a, a legend here. The occult one would be would be nice. OK, 
Okay, mean, meanwhile, we also need to find out about our competition because they're gaining credits fast. And here... Manchester can't be explored any further. Let's explore here. And we know something about our competition. Here's the bio farm. Always passed down to the eldest child. So we start an incursion. Hello, Miss Hammond. We've received some news about you from our London office. Did you know that your parents worked for Hazel many years ago? This comes as quite a surprise. I didn't know they had a daughter. They never mentioned it. I hope you can live up to their tremendous legacy. It's a mistake to compare me to my parents, Mr. Hazel Berg. I got where I am on my own merits. No one has handed me anything. Certainly not them. Unlike you. Arrogant and haughty. Yes, sir. Drew Hammond. You are more like your parents than you think, Jen. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, suddenly it's Jen. Plus one visions. Cool. So. They've got a lot of movement points. Let's hope we dig up dig up some dirt in the parking garage. Incursioning. Um, meanwhile. We can act in Dublin. Level up. I want to hear your story, Remy. Mm. Exploration. Plus. Okay. I thought there was something more to the level up. But that's just fancy. Fair enough. Okay, you've gotten the help. The storyteller. I've got two storytellers. One is for a cult, one is for form. Okay, right. We have 600. Let's build an extractor first. I thought I could level up here. Ah, that needs two Gaia to level up. The flame costs 50 now, okay. So this bar fills up and then the, it gets harder to fuel the fear. Follow the noise. Uh, on my own time I would read through everything because the game is kind of cool with how it does the text and, and, and such. But uh, for the sake of the stream I wanted to show a bit more of the game itself. Um, we can use the janitor. That's low. It costs four candles. We don't have four candles. Start another incursion. Right. Now we can evolve. The innocent sneeze. Bacteria. Sure. No? Okay. Droplets of saliva floating in the air. <gasps> A doctor friend of mine swore to me the virus is going to spread to all the parks. Our children are doomed. Alright. 
Oh, now I use the form. No, there we got 65 in Ireland. And the, f the general fear needs to grow, but um, we will soon be able to spread the message here. And we will soon be able to tell people about the dangerous remedies. I don't know, did it say virus on the card? I didn't even... Yeah, it says virus on the card. I didn't read that. But yeah, of course they are different. Otherwise, they would not be two different things, right? I didn't read the card, alright? <laughs> yeah, that's an opponent. That's an opponent. And uh, you defeat them by taking away all their initiative, which they use for movements on the map. And you can do that with information you collect about them. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, oh, we're not doing anything here. Mm. Yeah, we can extract again. Two cycles. Everybody's evil. In this game. Except for the poor victims. Nice. Oh, three damage. So we can do that. But they haven't started uh, their movement yet. Oh, what's this? They are disinfecting the parks. Seriously? Rude. Now, they have a movement here in Scotland, and I hope I can... Hmm. How did that work again? Do I need to explore the city first? I could counter their movement. It was possible. Evolve here. You can't sink from the water. For oh, fifty years, I've been drinking from those wells. <laughs> time up no not yet okay let's see if we can counter the uh the thing here oh i could just click on it but might need an agent there so we first we do this and then right they are doing a charity gala Um, oh, I don't remember that. Start incursion. Let's see. Um, we counter this. Ah, okay. So we can counter their double charity thing. And damage them for three. Yes. So we negated their campaign and we did three initiative damage to them. That's that's how that works. Uh, up here, we would extract another resource. Okay, and then you... Um, you win at some point, hopefully. <laughs> that's the game. Um, it's more presentation than beefy gameplay, actually. Uh, but it's a nice time spending thing. It's quite a relaxing game, I think. Uh, the whistling of the agents is not my favorite thing ever, but it pops, so you notice it. Um,
Yeah. Yes, it's a it's a it's a very low bar strategy game. Um, you can nearly play it as an idle game if you don't fast forward the time. Just give commands and then you wait until you get the notification sound and then you do something else again. <laughs> yeah, I think I think for a, for a play playthrough uh, of one or two campaigns, it should be fine. It really should be fine. The Fabulous Fear Machine. It was interesting to check out for sure. 